A good number of times, you'll hear of a film that was intended for one audience, and then at some point during production, they'll decide to shift gears and aim for a different demographic. A lot of the time, this is purely for commercial reasons, and more often than not, some remnants of that earlier vision for the film creeps into the finished product. This is especially noticeable when a film intended for an older crowd is then transformed into a family film through the power of rewrites and editing. That's the curious backstory between the two rather confused family films I'm comparing today, Kangaroo Jack and the live-action film adaptation of Scooby-Doo. Let's look at the history for a bit. When Warner Brothers commissioned Roger Gaznell and James Gunn to turn Scooby-Doo into a live-action film, they decided upon the interesting approach of aiming it for a teen audience and making a movie satirizing our grown-up perceptions of Scooby-Doo, its characters and its cliches. Which makes sense. Let's be honest. Every episode of Scooby-Doo Where Are You is exactly the same. So to just do a straight adaptation would be pretty boring with not much room for creativity. The theories about Shaggy being a stoner and Velma being a lesbian and a number of adult jokes were peppered into the screenplay and it started filming with the intention of it being a PG-13 film. But realizing how many children would want to see a Scooby-Doo movie, Warner Brothers got cold feet and told them to cut a lot of those gags, and we got this demographically confused, watered-down effort instead. As for Kangaroo Jack, this one started production as a PG-13 comedy called Down and Under. The basic premise was these two not particularly bright men have to transfer money for the Mafia, but it ends up in the possession of a kangaroo. However, the film's producer, Jerry Bruckheimer, noticed test screening audiences responded well to the kangaroo, and they decided to reshoot the film to increase screen time for the kangaroo, change the title, and go for a PG rating to attract the family crowd. However, despite the MPAA awarding Kangaroo Jack a PG, some of the more inappropriate jokes stayed in, resulting in a number of angry parents. It also did not help that the advertising focused heavily on the kangaroo and made it look like a talking kangaroo movie, even though the kangaroo only talks once in the entire film, courtesy of a hallucination scene. Why did they market it like that? Snow Dogs. A year earlier, Disney released the film Snow Dogs, a forgettable, run-of-the-mill comedy about Cuba Gooding Jr. going to Alaska and competing in a sled dog race. In one scene, he dreams the dogs are talking to him. Guess what scene was heavily exploited in the marketing? And it worked because Snow Dogs made money. The main problem encountered with Kangaroo Jack is how unlikable the main characters are. Charlie and Lewis don't grow as characters that much, and the whole predicament happens because of their own stupidity. It doesn't help that Jerry O'Connell and Anthony Anson's performances are over the top in a way that's grating. A lot of the crass jokes also come courtesy of these two, including this particularly controversial scene where Charlie meets Estella Warren's character and thinks she's a mirage, resulting in a breast joke. Our heroes, ladies and gentlemen, what did the MPA rate this film again? That O'Connell and Warren exhibit zero chemistry also downgrades the movie. The only mildly enjoyable character is Christopher Walken as the mob boss, because he's, well, Christopher Walken. Scooby-Doo more or less gets the characters from the cartoon down. Not that I ever found the scooby Gam particularly interesting. However, I have to give credit to Matthew Littert for playing as spot-on Shaggy, and Linda Cardellini is also excellent as Velma. Sarah Michelle Gellar and Freddie Prinze Jr. are just sort of there, but then again, it's not like Daphne and Fred had much dimensionality to begin with. We also get the odd decision to have the villain revealed to be Scrappy-Doo. This feels like something that would have worked in the more adult Scooby-Doo film, as Scrappy is hardly a well-liked character, and the opportunity to make him the villain could have been funny. However, in the watered-down final film, it merely comes across as an odd turn to take. There's only one scene early on with Scrappy-Doo, but it only exists to establish his annoyance with the Scooby Gang. The humor in both of these films fall really short. A lot of Kangaroo Jack consists of pratfalls and characters shouting every line. And of course, the PG-13 level jokes feeling out of place in this supposedly family-friendly film. Scooby-Doo has those fair share of gags as well, 
The most blatant is when Fred ends up switching bodies with Daphne, and he just wants to ogle her. I can see the comedic potential in the scene, but it's clearly one that was left unchanged from the original script. The lowbrow jokes are definitely among the weakest in the film, including one sequence in which Scooby and Shaggy just burp and fart. That's the entire scene, and it goes on forever. Who needs proper story and character development? Oh, and Scrappy-Doo urinates on Daphne. Comedy! Scooby-Doo even manages to bring in Rowan Atkinson for a supporting role, and zaps the funny out of him. That's quite the accomplishment right there. Special effects-wise, the kangaroo is okay. In the rare moments when he's CG, he does look like he's there. And while hardly state-of-the-art, the hallucination scene has some passable computer animation. Scooby-Doo, even by 2002 standards, has really weak computer effects. Admittedly, it's a noble attempt at turning Scooby into a CG character, but I never bought his interaction with the live-action characters. With both Scooby and Scrappy, there's an uncomfortable melding of trying to make them look like both a real dog and a cartoon dog. Even worse are the monsters populating the island, who look like they jumped out of a PlayStation game. So in the end, which is worse, Scooby-Doo or Kangaroo Jack? I'm going to pick... Kangaroo Jack. Scooby-Doo, as unfunny and insipid as it is, does try and adapt its source material with some level of satire, even if it doesn't entirely work, and some of the actors are well chosen. At least I watch it with a curiosity of wanting to see the older skewing cut. Or Scooby-Doo on Zombie Island, which is actually a pretty decent Scooby-Doo movie, which also went for real monsters as opposed to old men in costumes. Kangaroo Jack is just obnoxious. The character's annoying, it's not funny, and the attempts by the producers to swindle the family audience into this film are pretty sad. Tell me, which demographically confused film do you think is worse? Let me know, and I'll see you next time.